Have you ever noticed a drop in engine performance, poor fuel economy, or strange knocking noises from your engine? The culprit could be carbon dioxide deposits. But what exactly are these deposits, and how can you fix them before they damage your engine? In this video, we're going to show you how to identify carbon dioxide deposits in your engine compartment and valves, and how you can fix the issue to keep your car running smoothly. Stay with us, because this is a fix you can't afford to miss. Let's dive in and learn how to tackle carbon buildup head on, saving your car from unnecessary wear and tear. 1. What are carbon dioxide deposits? First, let's address the question. What exactly are carbon dioxide deposits and why are they a problem? Carbon dioxide deposits are the byproducts of incomplete combustion in your engine. These deposits accumulate on your engine valves, piston rings, intake manifold, and other internal components over time. They are primarily composed of carbon, which forms when fuel is burned but doesn't completely vaporize. When carbon dioxide deposits build up, they can disrupt the smooth functioning of your engine. This can lead to several performance issues, such as poor acceleration, reduced fuel efficiency, and even engine misfires. So it's crucial to identify and fix these deposits before they cause lasting damage. 2. Identifying Carbon Dioxide Deposits in the Engine Now that we know what they are, how do you identify carbon dioxide deposits in your engine? The first sign of carbon buildup is a noticeable reduction in engine performance. You may experience sluggish acceleration or a rough idle. Another symptom is decreased fuel efficiency. If your car isn't getting the mileage it used to, carbon buildup could be to blame. You can also spot carbon deposits by visually inspecting your intake valves and the engine compartment. They will often appear as black sooty stains around the intake manifold or on the valves themselves. A common test is to remove the intake manifold and look directly at the intake valves. If they're covered in a thick layer of carbon buildup, you know you've got a problem. A carbon-coated valve can prevent the engine from sealing properly, causing a loss of compression and poor engine performance. 3. Causes of Carbon Buildup But why does carbon buildup happen in the first place? It's not just random. There are several reasons for carbon buildup. One of the main causes is the use of low-quality fuel, or fuel with a high concentration of impurities. Incomplete combustion, often caused by short trips or cold starts, contributes to the formation of carbon deposits. Additionally, modern engines are designed to be more fuel efficient, but they may use lower temperatures during combustion to meet emission standards. While this is great for the environment, it can cause more carbon to accumulate over time. 4. How to prevent carbon buildup now that we know the causes, let's talk about prevention. How can you avoid carbon dioxide deposits from accumulating in the first place? One of the easiest ways to prevent carbon buildup is to use a fuel additive that helps clean the intake valves and combustion chamber. These additives can break down carbon deposits and keep your engine running smoothly. Regularly using a high-quality fuel and ensuring you drive your car at highway speeds for longer periods can help burn off excess carbon. Short trips where the engine never fully warms up, should be avoided if possible. Another important factor is to ensure that your engine is properly maintained. Changing your air filter regularly, maintaining correct oil levels, and ensuring proper fuel mixture all contribute to reducing carbon buildup. 5. How to fix carbon buildup DIY methods If you've already identified carbon deposits, the good news is you don't always need to take it to a mechanic. There are some DIY fixes that can help reduce or eliminate carbon buildup. First, you can try using a fuel system cleaner. This product is added directly to your fuel tank and works its way through the engine, breaking down carbon deposits as the car runs. It's a quick and inexpensive way to clean your system and improve performance. In some cases, you may need to clean the intake valves manually. This involves removing the intake manifold and using a special valve cleaner to scrub off the carbon deposits. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's guidelines when using any cleaning products. Using the wrong tools or chemicals can cause damage to your engine, so it's always best to use the right materials for the job. 6. Professional Cleaning Services If DIY solutions don't resolve the problem, it may be time to take your car to a professional for a more thorough cleaning. Professionals can use a method called walnut blasting, where ground walnut shells are used to scrub off the carbon from the intake valves. This process is safe, effective, and doesn't cause damage to the engine components. 
In more severe cases, the torque converter or internal parts of the engine may need to be replaced, which requires the expertise of a trained technician. 7. How often should you clean the engine? You might be wondering, how often should I be cleaning the engine or checking for carbon buildup? Generally, it's a good idea to clean the intake valves and check for carbon buildup every 30,000 to 60,000 miles, depending on how often you drive and the type of fuel you use. If you drive mostly short distances, you might want to check it more often. But remember, prevention is key. Regular maintenance and using fuel additives can help reduce the need for extensive cleaning. 8. Loss of engine power Another clear sign that carbon dioxide deposits are affecting your engine is a noticeable loss of power. If your car is struggling to reach the speeds it once did or feels sluggish when accelerating, carbon buildup could be at the root of the problem. Carbon buildup on the intake valves and combustion chambers can create a barrier that restricts air and fuel flow into the engine. This results in a less efficient combustion process, causing a significant drop in engine power. When your engine isn't getting the optimal mixture of air and fuel, it's working harder than necessary to generate the power you expect. The excess carbon acts like a blockage, preventing the engine from reaching its full potential. This issue is often fixable with a simple cleaning or fuel system treatment. However, if left unchecked, it can lead to more serious problems like poor fuel economy or even engine misfires. 9. Rough idle or engine misfire Another common symptom of carbon buildup in your engine is a rough idle or engine misfire. If your car is idling unevenly, shaking, or hesitating when you try to accelerate, carbon deposits could be the cause. Carbon buildup on the intake valves or combustion chambers can cause irregular combustion, leading to misfires or an unstable idle. This happens because the carbon deposits interfere with the smooth flow of air and fuel into the engine, disrupting the ignition process. When this happens, you may notice the engine stuttering or jerking as you drive. This can be especially noticeable when starting the car or idling at a stoplight. Ignoring these symptoms can lead to more severe problems, such as damaged spark plugs or decreased engine efficiency. If you experience rough idling or engine misfires, it's important to address the carbon buildup as soon as possible. Conclusion There you have it. Everything you need to know about carbon dioxide deposits in your engine compartment and valves. From identifying the signs to preventing the buildup and knowing how to fix it, taking care of this issue can save you a lot of money and keep your engine running efficiently. Don't let carbon buildup cause long-term damage to your vehicle. By staying proactive and addressing the issue early, you'll improve your car's performance and extend its life. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips on car maintenance and repair. See you in the next video.